do you mean like if, am I calculating it more yeah like where does your creativity because I feel like my creativity comes from a besides this podcast mm. it comes from a place of <clears throat> um another step on the ladder so even if it's messing about with a friend yeah taking pictures in my head I'm like okay well he's a guy and at some point I might want to shoot fashion photography so I, in mm. my head I'm thinking about how would I shoot a guy who was d shooting for this lookbook or this you know what I mean and I'm yeah. even if I'm just messing about I still have in the back of my mind how could this contribute to my overall journey mm -hmm. whereas yeah, yeah, I yeah. guess from the outside with you I don't know if that's the case with you or if yeah. you're just like some because your, your ideas are so varied and so different and so it can be that you're doing a dance class one day it can be do that you're yeah. like doing a I used photography to have a shoot with that. really yeah I, I used to struggle with the fact that when I say like because your Instagram almost becomes like your diary mm. in a way depending on how you use it that's true but when I when I used to like because I have my moments where I just you know scroll through and I'll, <clears> I can't, I'll try and look at it from like an outsider's perspective which obviously you can't do because you're just yourself yeah but I'd be like god I, I do that really... every time someone likes it I go back on my profile yeah I'm like, how would I look how at my profile look if I was that person yeah yeah, yeah. which I love doing <laughs> that but then yeah. sometimes I'm like god I look really random or yeah. who is that person or sometimes I'll, I'll like ask my boyfriend I'm like like can you tell who I am as an artist just right. from scrolling or do I just look like someone who doesn't know who they are mm. but is a creative that just likes to do random things and he thinks there's a, a consistent thread I think there is throughout all my work which I hope <clears throat> the consistency is me but I think yeah that's what I was gonna yeah. say I think your creative consistency is like you who you are and your yeah, essence behind all the projects it's just in the sense of a business perspective mm, yeah i don't know how right, much of that is okay, linked and I how much you. of that is because anything that you create even when you did your um you customize a whole load of clothing and did your own photo shoot in yeah. the clothing even the way you customize that clothing mm -hmm. i can tell that that was you. like even if someone showed me that i'd be like yeah it's like one of three people and it's probably <laughs> dd like yeah, yeah yeah so but then it's like say even customizing clothes and was that just like this is my hobby and I enjoy that or was it oh this could contribute to my I could be not at all actually no. I'm really not calculated in that way okay. I think I like to surprise myself yeah um and I really uh honor whatever I'm gravitating towards so I don't dismiss anything even if I'm like really focused on something like <clears throat> I don't know maybe it's just focusing on making money and teaching it's usually when I focus on that that something else will come up and come up from behind me and be like, actually, this is what you're going to be focusing on. So mm. I will go to that and then I might come back to the other thing. But what I've realized over time is to just not limit myself mm -hmm. and to trust in whatever <clears throat> comes up. And actually, I think in the last year more than ever, I've realized that I'm a lot more capable to do more things than I thought I was. Um, so actually now I'm probably less sure of what I want to do in terms of my work and in my future than I was maybe four years ago when for me it was really clear mm. and it was all about you know shui and like really about teaching and building a community and I think as I've started to see who I am as an artist and as a person the ceiling has kind of been removed mm. and I'm like oh shit actually I think my imagination isn't even cutting it like, I think there's so much yeah. out there for me that I don't even think is possible. So I'm just kind of like, well, let's just see what happens. And I'm finding from that mentality, I've actually attracted more of the type of jobs that fit with me. Mm. Um, I'm working with more people that I feel like are like, not like me, but that I just can be myself around. So I'm kind of like judging my experiences from that. If I feel like I'm hanging out with people that make me feel like myself, that can teach me something and that I can contribute to as well, I feel good. And yeah, with money, I never really see it as like the driving force, but I know that there's a shit ton of money out there. So yeah. I'm always in the trust that it will find its way to me. Um, yeah, I don't know so, if that makes sense. No, it but does, but in a... Thank you.